Welcome to Art with Mrs. Smith. Hello and welcome back to Art with Mrs. Smith. As you can see, I have Hudson back again. Hello. And Hudo, you're holding something there. What have you got in your hand? I've got a book called The Dot and it's written by Peter Hayes Reynolds. That's right. Peter H. Reynolds is the author of this story. And it's a beautiful little book about um, a girl called Vashti. And she has a little struggle in the art room, but it does have a really beautiful ending. And I thought I would share that with you today because it is a beautiful arty story. And I think we can all be a little bit inspired by Vashti's adventures in art. After I finish reading the story, we're going to do an artwork. And I'll show you what it's going to end up looking a little bit like. This is one that I've completed and so you can see it has a gold frame with the dot in the center. I wonder what that's all about. And there's one here by Hudson and I just think these would look so beautiful all lined up in a classroom or across your school. Maybe your whole school could do this activity or if you're at home and you're doing this um, in your own little space of course it's going to look beautiful hanging up somewhere in your in your home. All right, I think we're ready to start reading. You ready? Yep. Okay, I hope you enjoy the story and I'll see you soon. <laughs> the Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. The Dot. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good strong jab. There. The teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, now, sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never-before-used set of watercolours and set to work. Vashti painted and painted. A red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow and she discovered she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colours. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colours with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. She even made a dot by not painting a dot. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the little boy's squiggle and then she said, can you guess? <laughs> Please sign it. The end. Okay, well that's the end of the story. I hope you really enjoyed it. I quite liked at the end when Vashti was helping that little boy. He wanted to be just like her and she made it seem really simple, just like how she started out. Sometimes it is just as easy as putting a little mark on the page and seeing where that leads you. Now we're gonna start an artwork inspired by Vashti and her dots. And the only thing that you need is paper, a black marker, or if you don't have a black marker, you can use an oil pastel crayon and some watercolor paints. Are you ready to go? Yep. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I have two pieces of paper here. Mine is on the right and Hudson's is on the left. So he'll be drawing along with me. And you can see me mapping out with my finger. Um, I'm going to draw 
a little rectangle and this space is for you to sign your name at the end of your artwork just like Vashti did in hers. I just sign their name so people can see who has um, created that beautiful artwork but also when you do sign your artwork it gives you a sense of ownership and it's something that you can be really proud of. Okay now I've drawn a line either side of that rectangle but it doesn't quite touch the edge and then here I am mapping out my finger before I draw again and you can see me bringing the frame lines down either side. We're going to start with our beautiful gold frame just like Vashti had in the story and just join those lines at the top. It's a good idea to practice on a scrap piece of paper or whiteboard before you do your good copy and here I am mapping out with my finger again we're going to have a curved edge around the corner of the frame so we'll start by drawing that one in the top left corner Okay, map out with your finger and it goes in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out and around that corner. You'll see those uh, parts where it's going in, it's not actually touching the line. We do need to leave a space there. If you're not liking yours on your practice go, try again. Just keep practicing. And here I go again mapping out with my finger. And it goes in, out, in, out, and around the corner again. And Hudson's going to do his. In, out, in, out, and around. And let's do the same on the other side. So mapping out with your finger first. In, out, in out and around. So each corner has um, sort of a curved edge and let's do the same down the bottom again. Being careful not to go over our rectangle where our name is going to go and join the lines and that's the basis for our frame but now we need to add some detail and we're going to do that by adding a swirl in each of the parts where the line goes out. So you can just watch here, start in the middle and go round and round and round. And some do his. All right, this part here you can have a swirl. Round and round and round. So find all the sections on your frame where the line goes out and pop a swell there. Okay, now we're going to add some more detail. We're going to draw two wavy lines um, to join those swirls. So you can see I went off the page a little bit there. Just go off and then join it back up. So two wavy lines following the curve of the frame. Okay, now you can sign your name in that little rectangle in the nameplate. And Hudson's going to go over his frame with that permanent black marker. And let's put a dot right in the middle of our page. Okay, now the frame has to be a beautiful bright yellow to make it look like that lovely gold frame that Vashti had um, in the story. So find the brightest, most vibrant yellow on your palette 
and do the frame in that one colour. And just be sure to leave your name plate white. We don't want to paint over our names. Now it's time to start painting your dot. There's no real rules for this at all. The only thing you have to make sure of is that there is a dot at the end. So we don't want sort of a flower shape or heart shape. It just has to be a round dot. Or you could even make a dot without painting a dot like Vashti did in the story. Hudson and I are both doing similar patterns with ours. We're just going around and around using a different color each time. But like I said, you can be creative and come up with your own dot design. When your painting is dry, you can cut out your frame. And I'm being really careful um, to keep that black edge. And you're gonna end up with a beautiful um, shaped frame rather than just the rectangle. Okay, that wraps up our dot lesson for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you do this project at home or at school, don't forget to share it with me. I love seeing your artworks. You can either send it through to me on Facebook or Instagram. That would be amazing. Anything else? Yes, yeah, good book. It is a really good book. <laughs> Don't forget to check out my other arty videos. There's lots on there now. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, everyone. <laughs>